Hi everyone, are you ready to see some magic? Cool, so the first step is to discover the ONTAP cluster I wish to protect, and I'll do it just by clicking on Add Working Environment. My cluster is on premises, so I click on this one, and I'll type in the cluster management IP address and the credentials, and that's basically it. Cool, now let's see the existing volumes on the cluster. It's a new cluster, and I have only one volume so far up data. Easy. Now we'll connect to the cluster CLI to confirm that we don't have any snap mirror relationships. See? Okay, let's activate the backup. So all we need to do is click on the cluster. It will open on the right pane all the available data services for that cluster. And we just want to enable backup and compliance. You will see why compliance in a second. Cool. Now I want to backup my cluster directly to AWS S3. So I'll choose it. I choose where to place my backups and I'll give ONTAP the access and secret key for it to put and get objects out of S3. And we can use customer managed keys as well or the default KMS for encryption and trust. The backups are encrypted in flight and we can use the public internet to push data directly towards the bucket. But if you want to keep the internal communication in place through a direct connect or a VPN tunnel, private link is the way to go. You can use a retention of up to 4,000 backups per volume by creating your own policy or by selecting an existing SnapMeo policy exists on the cluster. The last step is to select which volumes I wish to protect and I can easily just click here to select thousands of volume and we will throttle backups over 100 parallel jobs. I'll click on activate and cloud backup will automate the entire process for me from creating the bucket, enable encryption on it and set up the on top side, policies, backups, all of that. Okay, this is why compliance. When we're backing up our on-premises cluster directly to the public cloud, we can actually scan the backups using DataSense to get insight on your data, and it is completely included in the cloud backup license cost. That's awesome. Cool, I'll go back to the cluster CLI. We can actually see a new active SnapMeo relationship but with an S3 destination. How cool is that? So I'll just copy the bucket name, open S3, and enter the bucket. Each volume will get its own directory, so we have only one in this case, and inside you can see 4 megabyte object. That 4 megabyte object is not in a readable format for security reasons to keep your data safe, and that 4 megabyte is for performance consistency, so regardless if it's tiny or huge files, you'll get consistent performance across the board. Okay, so let's go back and see our backups. By clicking on backup now, we can actually take an ad hoc backup, which is highly recommended before maintenance event. And if we'll click on details and backup list, we can actually see the volume backup status, list of backups, and we can also trigger volume level restore right from here. Okay, but what if one of my application files got corrupted or deleted? How can I recover it? Well, that's easy. I'll go back to the canvas, click on the cluster, and on restore single files. It will present the protected volumes and the backup dates. And now we're doing something pretty cool. What we're going to do now is actually to deploy a stateless VM. And that VM, the entire purpose of it is just to read the backup metadata and to build the browsable catalog you will see in a second. But after that, on top will get the relevant information, the files you want to restore, and ONTAP will do all the heavy lifting by restoring the files with the efficiency preserved directly from S3 to ONTAP, encrypted in flight, and will spin off that Cloud Restore instance to save you that compute costs. That's that awesome. Cool, so we can already browse or search the file system, and I will keep it simple just by restoring this Linux file right here. Now we need to select where to restore to, and I'll keep it simple just by restoring to the original pass but we can restore it to any ONTAP destination on premises or in the cloud running 9.7p5 and above. But before it stores, let's go back and see the file system. Okay, we can see that file, excellent, let's go back, hit restore. Okay, on the cluster CLI, we can already see the snap mirror restore operations. And on the file system, you can already see that we actually added a perfix just to make sure we'll never overwrite an existing file. That's simply awesome. 